This short tutorial is going to help you build a battleship grid when reading the directions don't quite make sense. You're first going to go ahead and do a blank file and save that blank file as uh, something like battleship grid. You want to put that to your H drive or your OneDrive wherever you can access it again. Next you're going to highlight all of the columns A through J. That's the first 10 columns. Holding down the left mouse button and selecting all those columns. Next you'll right click and go to column width. In the directions it tells you that the column width should be 3. When you set it to 3 that turns those rectangles into squares. Next you'll need to highlight A1 through J10. What you can do is you can put a dark thick outside border around all of those cells so that puts, gives a border around those cells. You'll see down here at the bottom I actually have some um, legends. I'll move this over just a little so you can see it. These legends are helpful. You're going to be building five different uh, boats, a carrier, battleship, destroyer, submarine, and a patrol boat. What you need to do is select and highlight. Don't do exactly what I'm doing here, but select and highlight five cells in, a, in order, up and down or left and right. Change their color so that they're easy to see. And a lot of students like putting a border around those as well. Continue doing that for a five, four, three, two, and another three. At this point, you've made your five different boats. We're going to call that your fleet. Since this is your fleet down here at the bottom, you can rename the sheet by right-clicking on it and saying rename entitled as something like My Fleet. We're going to need to make another worksheet that's going to show where you're making your guesses. You're going to be marking where your opponent is guessing on your grid. So to make a copy of a worksheet, you right-click on the worksheet and you can say Move or Copy. Select the icon checkbox to create a copy. And it's created a copy. You can drag these around forward and back so that you can say my fleet's going to be at the front or my fleet 2 is going to be at the back. The easy thing to do is rename the second sheet something like guesses or my guesses. So if this is your fleet, these are your guesses. I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of the cells here and remove the fill and actually remove all of the borders. So I've removed all of the boats because I don't know where my partner has placed his or her boats. I'm going to highlight those cells again and just put a thick outside border on there again. So I don't know where my partner's at. By the way, I'm zoomed way out. Use the zoom slider and zoom in and that's just going to make it so much easier. So as I'm looking at my guesses worksheet, when I make a guess, I'm going to call out to my partner, for example, first by saying the letter and then saying the number. So for example, F6, I'll call that out and my partner is going to be looking at his or her worksheet and decide if that was a hit or a miss. I'm going to go ahead and type an M for a miss. Now I notice that M goes right in the center because what I've already done is I've already set the alignment to be right in the center. You don't have to do that, but I like highlighting everything and just saying making everything right in the center. And notice here when I do it on this worksheet, and I'll zoom in. Let's say my partner guesses F5. I would call out to my partner, that's a hit, and I could put an H there for a hit. You're going to continue going back and forth, making guesses back and forth. And some students, when they end up finding a boat, let's say um, I call out E5, and my partner says, that's a hit. I can go ahead and put an H for a hit, and I'm going to keep calling out cells that are around this. Obviously, it's not going to go in a diagonal motion, but maybe I'll call out the next time when I get something. I'll say, is it... Uh, F5, and my partner would tell me miss or hit. An important thing for you to realize is when you've sank someone's ship or when they've sank your ship, you need to say, uh, you, shank, you sank my carrier or you sank my destroyer. And what that does is that tells a student or a person that you're playing, this is sank. I don't need to uh, call uh, values or call cells around that area because I've, I've sank the boat. Now some people they'll put all their boats all together that's that's one strategy but um, you're going to put all the boats in a certain area and we'll go back and forth until you've sank all five of your uh, partners or your opponent's fleet and that's when the game ends. Hopefully that helps.